when I first made the video about the uh, food saver, I said it was pretty easy to use, self-explanatory. I just want to give a tip that I discovered that I messed up. Even though I know how to use the machine, I messed up on packaging something. So I want to show you that. But just while I'm at it, I just want to give you a, a quick little rundown, a tip of it. So right here, we have it in the store section. And this is going to be the open. That's where I open it. Now, right inside here is where they seal it. You, you, you can see this. It almost looks like tape. So we're gonna put, put it as flat as we can. We don't want it to overlap. Even if you cut the bag a little crooked, like I did here, and you, you just try to put it as flat as you can. Put it down, you lock it, where it says operate, and only hit the seal button. This side is open, because it comes on a roll, and the, the whole entire thing's open. So right now we're just sealing it. And I'm gonna cut this bag open because I'm gonna show you what I did wrong here. I, I, I did flour in this. The thing is that I didn't want to use such a large bag because I was trying to save money and being cheap. But what happened was when it vacuum sealed, it sucked some of the flour right out into the seal. So when it went to seal, it didn't seal properly. You see, you can, you can see it's not sealed. You can see the flour coming out. I have bags that are fine that I did in small ones, but I don't think it's worth it. So I, I might be able to even save this bag ultimately and use it for something else, even rinse it out. But you can see it, it's, it's, it didn't seal right there. So what I did was, I hate wasting anything. Besides, it's not cheap. I just don't like wasting stuff and throwing it out. See, I, I, I have a much larger bag. Now, I learned my lesson with this, and then I did pancake mix, and I used much larger bags, and all of them sealed beautifully, perfect. Now, I don't wanna get any flour at the top, because that also can make it not seal properly. So I'm really trying to get it in there deep. And I wanna, I wanna make a clean exit with this. Now, the bag is not punctured, so I'm sure I can rinse that out and use it again. Make sure it's nice. See how much room I have now? So now I'm going to do it. So you want to make sure there's no creasing. And uh, this is going to, I want this nice and clean. Lay that flat. Lock it. Now we're going to do the vet. What I'm going to do is pick this up a little bit. So I want that flower down there. Still sucking it up. It didn't do that. It didn't do that with the pancake mix. I just hope that it sealed properly. Right away, I knew. I knew it didn't seal when I did it. So I should know right away with this. You can see now it's on seal. Now it's good. Yeah, it sucked it up. Still, it's it's really tight. It sealed it, but I, I still don't like that. It's a lot less. But you can see how tight it is. So it, it worked. Now I'll label this. I'll write that as flour so we don't get it mixed up between pancake mix. Even though the pancake mix is in a lot smaller portions than the flour. So we can just open it and have a one-time use. Even going camping, we can bring the pancake mix. But there you go. I just I, I have to use a bigger bag. It's going to be waste. Not waste, but ultimately it's just more bag than I need. But see how it still wants to suck it up? Hopefully it helps somebody not waste their time and bags, which ultimately I'm not going to waste that bag. I'm going to try to clean it.